Welcome to Road to NHL Gaming World Championships Final. In this vlog you will see my entire experience to the European Championship Finals in Maastricht, Netherlands, plus the recap of the games. What happened? Let's go. Send it towards the oh, oh, What's up guys? Eki here. Leading to the GWC land. There's Samal, there's Domi and there's Temu. Our drive to Maastricht. Hotel room. Space for two here. Unfortunately, I'm alone. So the schedule here is tomorrow we play the quarterfinals off stream. We also have a media day, and rest of that day is free from what I've heard. And then the finals are the day after that. <laughs> So YouTube, this is Lehman. Oh, 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 oh. Hello YouTube. <laughs> There's Iker and Kenneth Lehtena. <laughs> There's a no, no GWC player. That's Kappe, our 6 v 6 goal. The Swedish meta. Cool stakes. <laughs> it's 9.30 p.m. local time. I'm in bed. My match tomorrow is 12 a.m. I'm just happy to get some rest. I haven't told you guys this. Um, I have some COVID related stuff. I had it for about a year now, health stuff. I'm not feeling that good most of the time. Big reason why you haven't seen me really streaming that much. I feel like I have the lungs of a 90 year old basically like super hard to speak sometimes and uh yeah just catching your breath there's some other stuff also but yeah i don't really want to talk about it i've also noticed that uh sleep is very important no more i sleep the better i feel the next day and it's very clear so it's nice to be at hotel early and ready to go but hey now some star wars and see you tomorrow morning just woke up go to the shower and now we're going to the breakfast I forgot my teeth brush at home, so my teeth are going to smell today, but <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to have to buy a toothbrush. We are playing here uh, tomorrow for the main, main games, I'm pretty sure. Looks like a nice stage. I guess this is the practice room we're playing in today. I think we gotta here. This is my place to play. We have a good table. This is Lehman. It's amazing how they put there's everyone Benito up. There's Benito and there's them. Um, this is Everyone good. is moving on on one table. Hell, that's like from the beginning. We're having a media presentation. <laughs> you could probably actually do this. Do you want to do it? No. <laughs> oh no, I, I couldn't. Look at what we got. It's game time. Here is the bracket for the EU finals. Just to remind you, all of these matchups are best of three single elimination. I am playing Olli, an Xbox player. I haven't really played him this year, don't know what to expect, but I know he had uh, tight games against Egan in the qualifiers. These games are played off stream, so I don't have a lot of footage. But long story short, I ended up winning my quarterfinal series 2-0. First game 3-1 was actually a tight game, and second game I got a 4-0 win. My team is very defensive heavy. It's kind of hard to score sometimes, but I allowed one goal in the entire quarter final, so that's a good sign for the later rounds. All right, won my first matchup against Olli. There he is. First game very tight. I think it was 2 1 until the last minute I scored the final goal, and the second game was 4 0. So we are through to the semis. Got to say, unfortunately for Olli, he's played on Xbox. You don't have a PlayStation, right? Yeah, I don't have a PlayStation. Yeah, so I think that was his first game playing with the PS5 controller. Pretty tough, pretty tough. Yeah, pretty tough. Yeah, it sort of feels bad for him, but... <laughs> yeah. This is how we watch the other water finals. Hey, hey. Dorito. Here's what happened in the other series. All the top seeds made it out to the semifinals. Iken and Temu and Benito and Jamal had a three-game battle. Domi won Lehmannes in two games. Now in game number two, passing play out behind the net in the first. What a shoot. Welcome our first semi-finalist from Sweden looking for his first GWC title. Welcome Akin. Not going to happen. And looking to go back to back here at the GWC from Finland. Welcome Aki. 
going to happen. <laughs> Are you all aware when you need to be here tomorrow? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> hey, ready for interview? <laughs> all right, media day is over. We are going to the same uh, steak place as yesterday. And yeah, that interview at the end. Dude, I I'm not the fan when the interviewers kind of force you to say that. Say that you will win it. You will win it. I will be the 2022 European champion. Ah, I probably should just not say it, but... Uh, it is what it is. Hopefully it happens then. If you say that, you better win. <laughs> All right, let's go. Open the door. All right. Hey. Ready? Yes. So, Swedes are still here, but there's no people today. Yes, Nor. Hello, hello. Swede also. There's Olli and his twin brother, and there's Kenu. Kenu, man. Sports gamer boss. But you faced Kenu yesterday. Huh? Did I you remember when you, when you uh, filmed? Yeah. And I said, my name is Kenneth Lechtenau. Kenneth Lechtenau. <laughs> <laughs> the man of two meats is back. Yeah. Look at this. Okay, I was, we were just at the grocery store. I have a visa and a MasterCard. He told me that no MasterCard and no visa. So how the f am I supposed to pay if visa or MasterCard isn't working? Like, what? what is that? Looking for markets which take visa or MasterCard. We found a store hub which takes visa and MasterCard. I'm still in shock. <laughs> so these guys drove from Sweden to here. It's like 10 15 hours. At the hotel, same thing as yesterday. It's like what? 9 30 pm. Tomorrow uh, we have to be there in the stage at 11. So uh, today it was 9. I can sleep way more than yesterday. That's amazing. So, yes, Star Wars and to bed. And then tomorrow we have to win two series to be the European champion. So, a semi final. At the final. Greatest movie character of all time, right there. Morning of the games, breakfast. There's Mr. Manager Cafe with, oh, his, with his ugly shirt. <laughs> There's the other guys. We are playing the games at this uh, event in Netherlands. Not exactly sure what it is. Some sort of gaming event, but yes. Cool for sure. Semi final starts in 10 minutes. With this belt? What? This? I've never got this before, but <laughs> this looks sick. We're gonna actually now start with that very first matchup between Ekin and Eki. It's time. Semi-finals against Eken. I won him last year in this exact same position. European semi-finals, of course, that was online, not on land. Let's look at our teams first. Like I've said before, I felt like Eken did the best job out of everyone in the team draft. His offense is incredible. My offense is alright, Drysatel is good, and when I got to land, I felt like Deprinkat and Kadra worked better than online. The small speedy players really felt good. But let's be honest, I don't have a lot of depth in my offense. But if we look at our defense, this is where I have the advantage, in my opinion, to everyone. I took a lot of defenders in the early rounds. I have defensemen with shut down, stick them up, quick pick. And I got Fleury in net. Uh, he has Ottinger, not the greatest. But let's start the games. So, here's a bit of controversy. In game one, I jumped out to a 4-0 lead. The thing is, Iken was having technical difficulties, especially after my first two goals. So we're playing in the stage, right? The playstations we played at were all the way at the back in the production, which meant that the Bluetooth connection on our controllers was basically going on and off. So one second it's alright, and the next second there's a huge delay, and this is of course not okay. So yeah, after my 4-0 goal, we quit it. Uh, in game one and we restarted game one i'm not going to show you that uh my four zero lead stayed and uh yeah it was pretty boring the rest of that game so i have the one zero lead in this series and uh gotta be honest still don't feel great about this one i basically feel like i got a free ish win but uh, yeah shouldn't happen in the biggest nhl tournament in the world anyways on to game two and i got the exact same issue that Eken got in game one i basically couldn't even switch players after this the organizers brought out the playstations to where we were playing and it was completely fine again. I just feel sorry for Eken. That's not right what happened to him in game one. It could have happened to me as well. It's obviously not right and hopefully it never happens again. Start of game two. Everything is fine now. Eken got on the board right away. Not a good start for me. I really want to close this series out in game two when I have the chance, but I was struggling here. But luckily I got on the board pretty soon after. Silverberg's got it now. Eki looking for an answer and he gets one as Suter buries it. Transition. Here's Eken. Sends that across Stutzla and a big save there. 
thing about playing Eken is I know exactly how he plays. He plays four less behind the net. I feel like just closing in on the middle is easily the best strategy against him. Just give him the space in my own zone and see if he can figure out my uh, bus in front. Having the lead against Egan is so huge, but I was struggling with my offense. Had a hard time even getting to the zone. Not even talking about scoring chances, but game is 1-1. Nothing is lost. Game can change at any time. Only need the one chance. Now back to Murray. He walks and lets it go. Let's jump straight to the end of the third period here. Nothing has basically happened. I will show you a longer clip here what was going on in the game. Good neutral zone defense from both. I'm trying all kinds of different strategies, but nothing is working. Strategy changes from Mackey. Murray now over to Thompson. Pressured, sticked away by Silverberg. Great zone defense at the blue line by both of these guys right now. It's really difficult to get any time and space and enter into the offensive zone. Six minutes remaining in the third period. At this stage, it was pretty clear. Next goal wins. 1-1 one, one in game two of our first semi-final here at the 2022 European NHL GWC Championship and man get slapped with an opportunity right there and you see the shots so far for Eki three shots in the entire full three periods they just played again very tactical very safe with the park you gotta you gotta think they're gonna be firing on all cylinders in this OT can Eki continue his run to go back to back at the European Championships of the GWC sends that one over to Dreisaitl as he walks in now down to the point, Petrangelo to Provorov. Eki with the puck, has it at the point. Provorov to Petrangelo, doesn't like what he sees, and he gives and goes to Provorov again. Ekin safe in the middle, defending well, keeping him to the perimeter. Now Niederreiter, looking for that backdoor play. Eki just sitting there waiting for a move. Now Provorov to Dreisaitl, waits for the pressure, doesn't get any, content to hold it. Niederreiter now, will he make his move? Waits for it, gets through, back, oh! and he scores! Eki's gonna end it with the brink here! Praying on his opponent to make that pivotal mistake. Alright, just played the first semi-final against Eken. We are in the finals. Second semi-final, Axdomi against Jamal the man. Let's see quickly what happened here. Avoids everyone, sends it up, and now Forsberg. Trying to tie things up late. Giordano across the line. Here's Jamal the man. It's McAvoy. Back door. He scores. Woo! 15 seconds to go. And again, just waiting for pressure, but Domi's not giving it to him. Maybe a forehand shot. He gets one off the post. Maybe one last rush. Duchesne across the line. Two seconds to go. Kreider rips it on. And that's going to do it. Jamal the man is going to move on to the finals. Here we go in the finals. It's Aki versus Jamal the man. Alright, finals against Jamal the man. Let's look at his team here quickly. Very good offense again. I feel like everyone has a stack at first line. I think he has a bit better offense than me. But then again, if you look at our defense, I feel like we have the advantage here. And uh, goal is Esther in Fleury. Pretty 50-50. I personally think Fleury is a bit better. But let's go. 15,000 euros and the European Championship on the line. It's gonna be Aki. For the New York Islanders against Jamal the man repping the Tampa Bay Lightning. Honestly, in the semi-final between Domi and Jamal, I wanted Jamal to win. Because I feel like he's a bit better matchup for me. And in game one, I started out very confident. And there's one as Getzlaff's gonna hammer home the one-timer off the rush. Felt like this was my tournament. But got to say my thought process switch it later on in the series. But let's look at this game one first. I mean, even when you're playing aggressive, Eki finds a way as he's setting up shop in the offensive zone. And there we go, Dreisaitl's gonna get his second goal. Okay, so a bit about Jamal. Look at the moves he's making in the European Championship Final. That tells you everything about this man. Just from opponent's perspective, felt like the least nervous opponent I've ever had in the GWC. Like honestly, and we're playing in the final. How can we get Jamal to take some more shots? I know he can hear us. I'm trying to, I'm waiting to see if he can get some shots <laughs> on looking goal back at here, you. buddy. Let's go. Oh, that is Let's great. go. <laughs> As some of you might remember, I played Yama last year in the quarterfinals of the same tournament. Won him in three games. And yeah, in this game one, I really, really felt good until something happened. He's got the puck pressured there by Ekholm. Now Soferberg with it. Soferberg on the breakout. Whoa, Seven minutes to go God. in front and the turnover is going to end up in his net as Yost is going to bury that one. Yeah, I gave Jamal basically a free goal and now he's coming down to bit with the legs. Oh no. Luckily he misses the pass though. Two to one lead for Aki here in game one of the finals. Now Tyranny behind the net, back out oh. in front, he scores. Tyranny on the wrap. Three. Two, maybe one more chance. Shesterkin will save that one. But that's going to do it for game number one of our finals. Let's go straight to game two. First of all, I'm happy I didn't blow that game one. But I noticed straight away from the first attack, Jamal is playing different in game two. 
He didn't play this patient in game 1, he was doing very quick decisions. But straight out of the gate looks like he wants to get the puck possession a bit more. He's still doing between the legs though. Behind the net, it's Eki's turn. Pressured there, still has it on the back end. Sends after to break it back and forth and what a block Love there. The yeah. Aaron Bratt now. Bratt pressured there by Petrangelo, but he loses it back out in the middle and a huge save from Fleury. Got to say, Fleury was unreal for me the whole tournament, except for one play, but more on that later. Behind the net, out in front, Bailey's gonna score off the post. And the violin Selly. look at that. That's a Unique. TWC first. And Unique. Carlin in the back. Yeah, Just pump it, let's go. <laughs> Eki, that one feels a little bit different for him, obviously. On their <laughs> <top> <laughs> by, that first period was absolute domination by him all the minute. It might have only been one nothing, but the time on attack was seven minutes to two. Eki had one shot on goal. Finally started to make him look human so far at the event here. So, Jamal is playing out of his mind. When he started valuing puck possession, he was impossible to play against. I honestly, I was saying to myself, oh sh Maybe this was not the guy I wanted to play in the finals. Off the rush! He's gonna make it a 2-0 lead! And he's cooking! As it now, if Forsberg does Jamal the man, he's pressured though. Now Niederreiter with a chance for Eki. Eki over to dry side and he's robbed there on the blocker. Petrangelo, he's grass there at the line. Johnny Gaudreau cuts through, far side, and he can't get it to go. Jamal the man able to come out with some defensive heroics and break up that play. What a move there to go between the legs, and he has it again. Forsberg back in front, that one doesn't get through. And Johnny Gaudreau maybe has a step here, far side, and he can't get it to go. Frustrated again, five minutes to go. It's all Eki here trying to tie things up. Goudreau, again, back door to dry side, he scores, that's one. Gets laugh into the zone, 33 seconds, sauces it across, Goudreau can't get a shot away. Johnny Goudreau picks it up, he's gonna have one last rush, here's Rodriguez, back and forth across the line, 16 seconds to go, back to Petrangelo, doesn't have a shot, now to Rodriguez, 10 seconds to go in the third, down low, turned over, Strawman's got it, five seconds remain, Back in, Goudreau maybe one more chance. That's gonna be turned over, and we're going to a game three in the finals. Here we go for everything on the line. It's Aki versus Jamal the man. Game number three to be the 2022 NHL GWC European champion. Well, here it is. Played better at the end of game two, but uh, just couldn't get the win. Jamal played just absolutely unreal. In this series, I've gotten chances every time. I've gotten the cycle going, but Jamal played the neutral zone so good, and when I got to the zone, the first pass was difficult to make. I tried this behind the net pass so many times, and Jamal cut it off multiple times. Down low in Giordano, he's really reading that play to send it along the boards. That's three or four times we've seen Jamal the man read that. Over to Petrangelo, a lot of zone time here for Eki in game three, sends it towards the net, off the rebound, and that one hits the bar, as just narrowly avoiding that as a 1-0 lead. And and it squeaks through! Oh, oh my goodness! What a turn of events there as Jamal the man's gonna get one on the board! You can only imagine how I was feeling here. The possession game we're playing, first goal is just massive and uh, that happens, it's pretty garbage, but uh, what can you do? Have to bounce back. Fleury certainly did, you gotta say. Anderson now, down behind the net, it's Bailey. Bailey, looking to work something out far side, Eki's reading it well. Okay, just think about this play for a second. Little sauce over my forward, and then a double sauce, back post. Oh, luckily he missed the net. I felt like I got the first goal back, right there. Down low behind the net, Brad walks out in front, what a move! Sends it over to Ekholm, now to Suter, over to Tyranny. Tyranny's got it over to Suter. Absolutely crushed <laughs> at the blue line on that zone entry. In down deep for Jamal the man. Nice poke check there by Flurry. Like, Eki probably would have wanted him to save all that energy for the goal, but nonetheless, here we are. End of the first period, had a couple good chances, but <laughs> wasn't really on top of my game. Thing I'm struggling with are the zone entries, and I'm trying all kinds of stuff here. Changing strategies mid-fly, trying to be patient, I don't want to give him the puck, but at the same time, I need to figure out a way to get into the zone here. I played with standard offensive pressure basically the whole tournament, which means that my players aren't really going into the zone or upwards fast, but I just want those close uh, passing options, that's why I'm doing it. The problem is when I enter the zone, I don't have my forwards or defenders supporting me fast enough, and I'm just losing the puck a lot when I enter. And the back door hasn't been open, but you know what is open? Junior Pence is gonna love it. The D to D is wide open. Maybe we'll see that. I mean, something's gotta change here. Get yourself back in the game. That's what I would try. Chris the commentator is telling me here that uh, I need to shoot D to Ds. But the problem is, I'm getting to his zone three to four times a period. So if I shoot 
a point shot and give me the puck right away, then I will just lose the game 5-0. Unless my point shots are going in, but they, they don't go in in this game. So I can't risk myself just losing the puck. Here is a very interesting play. I have a 2-on-2 two two attack. I switch to full attack very quickly, because I want my players to go in front of the net as quickly as possible, and it pays off. He scores! What a goal by Aki! He's got it. Has the puck. Five seconds to go in the second. Ekholm has it. Maybe a ch chance for one more rush. That's gonna do it, and we've got a 1-1 game going into the final frame. Final period, 1-1. Palms are sweaty, knees are weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> now out in front into Brinkett. 12 minutes to go in the third. Skates into the middle, tries to force it across. McAvoy intercepts. 10 minutes to go. Again, I feel like my guys aren't just skating fast enough to the offensive zone. I just don't have that support when I enter the zone. Like I said, I'm playing with standard. I could go full attack and maybe create some more chances, but I just don't want to risk it. With full attack, your players are so aggressive. Every puck loss you have in the blue line, it's a counter-attack for your opponent, basically. Six minutes to go, he changes his lines, he gets his third. No, God! Luckily, he misses this pass, jeez. Silverberg has it again. Back out in front, Suter, one-timer from Tyranny. That's gonna be intercepted from Shekran. Minute 20 to go in the third. Bailey on a sauce across, here's Bailey. 30 seconds, I'm trying to get the puck. I felt like that was a good place to stick lift, but I get a penalty. Oh my god. You didn't see this on the broadcast, but when I got the penalty, I took a timeout and I switched it to full attack. I was done playing passive. I just want to throw everything at Jamal and see what happens. And actually on the power play, your AI is pretty bad at defending. So I actually felt like I have a chance to score here. Ten seconds to go in the third. Back behind the net. Can he get a shot? Three seconds. Zabinijad can't get it towards the net. And that's gonna do it for regulation. We will go the distance. This is what it's all about. European Championship Final, Game 3, Overtime. First place gets 15,000, second place gets 5,000. The next goal is worth $10,000. Looking at the stats quickly, you can see exactly how this game was played. It's not really hockey, it's a chess match. Seven shots in total, possession is absolutely everything. But yes, you've heard enough for me. Enjoy the overtime. These low scoring games have driven two of the best players in all of Europe to get this far. And wow. Here we go. Next goal wins to break it shorthanded over to Petrangelo and he misses the net. What a play there and it goes wide. Eki shorthanded, almost ended it there. Here's Kucherov the McAvoy. Giordano walks in from the point. Giordano on the backhand sends it towards the net. Here's Dreisaitl now, 35 seconds to go in the power play, and what an insane start to overtime. Dreisaitl, dangerous play, gets it to Brinkett. 18 seconds to go in the power play, Eki looking to just kill things off and get back to five aside. Pressured though, now Petrangelo, we're back even. Here's to Brinkett. Back to Silverberg, Silverberg's got it, had a man in front, but a good defensive play. Here's Silverberg, in the corner, walks out in front, Still has it, and good defensive play there to bump him off the puck. Zabinijad holds it now. Three minutes gone in overtime. Forsberg has it. Forsberg cuts into the middle. Zabinijad on the backhand. Can't get it back in front. Kucherov, backdoor play, can't get that one through either. Rodriguez over to Getzlaff. He streaks down the wing, pressured at the blue line, turned over in Forsberg. Now out the other way to McAvoy. Silverberg, he causes an interception. Here's Silverberg. Eki trying to end it, and he can't get a shot away. Here's Zabinijad. Zabinijad to Brad, the other way. Zabinijad stops up, he's po-checked, and Rodriguez is gonna get the puck back, and here you see the line change for Eki. Sends that one out, and dry sidles in a two-on-one. Niederreiter can't get it across. What a diving block there by a the man. What a play. You got it. Ekholm has it back to Ronick. Niederreiter, Eki has just, there's, I don't know what he's, he's gonna fighting. do. He is fighting. Ronick in down deep, second it towards the net. He scores! Debray got it! In overtime! Woo! Unbelievable. He battled that game, and experience comes out on top. And there you have it. The 2022 NHL GWC European Champion. He goes back to back. It's Aki. Presenting the championship belts. Randy Rose, what a belt that is. That's incredible. Great job. Give it up, guys, for Aki.
Well deserved. Unbelievable. What a finish we had there. It went the distance into overtime. And Eki able to just battle through the emotions and go back to back at the GWC. And there we go. Careful. All right, excellent. Here we go. It wouldn't be the GWC without <laughs> something like that. There we go. There's, let's go. Check, sir, $15,000. What'd you do to this here, Eki? So what happened was I thought this this was part of the trophy. Yeah. This, this thing, so I tried to lift that, but yeah, it's okay. I'll get it to it later. Maybe we'll attach it to your belt there, too. Yeah. How about that thing? That is flashy never as heard, ever. Never heard anything like this before. This is fantastic. We're going to take a look at some replays right now, but game three in overtime for the grand final. I don't think anyone called this, Cam. That goal right there in big moments is usually the end. And uh, he, he even knew it. Yamala Man said, wow, okay. And Eki was battling just every single step in the last two games. So it was a, a goal was huge no matter what. But Abel in the second period, Suter hits Soferberg on the back door. A great tap in play. And there was just nothing. It was defensively, Jamal the man played unbelievable. Like some of the best that we had seen, especially today. But as the game went along, that overtime went back and forth. And here it is on the back doors to Brink. And he gets free. And Eki loses it. Here he goes as he goes back to back. The chair's Set off the and out of space. Flying. And there we go. <laughs> Get out of here. That's a clip. That's a clip. That was amazing. I was wondering where he went. He you went on the, the ground. <sighs> oh, back at the hotel. Going to eat with the boys. And uh, then tomorrow morning, early flight. Early flight back home. Yeah, it just means so much to me. It's insane. The hours you put into the game. The work you work you put in it pays off. There's nothing that feels better. First thing I won in Angel 22 also, so that's good. Game is not as bad for me as I thought. <laughs> Healthy winning water. Let's go. Going home. 4.30 a.m. We are at the airport. Boys pulled an all-nighter. I slept for uh, three hours, but yeah, it's like 6 a.m. Next to Finland. Hey, 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 back home. I need to find a good place for this bad boy. I was thinking like behind the setup is would be pretty perfect. Here we are. I just want to talk to you guys for a bit. Uh, I didn't want to write a tweet or anything. Just better say the stuff I want to say here. My fourth European CWC title. I don't. I don't even know what to say. Like I said in the vlog, uh, I've had some health stuff uh, this year, which is like really made this year very annoying. Probably like the least funny year of my life. But uh, with this one, I got something uh, positive, positive to this year. NHL 22 gameplay wise, like I've been good the whole year, but maybe not at the level I'm quite used to be. Lost a bit more games than usual. Tournament games overall have been a bit closer. Uh, than I'm used to. I haven't won anything this year before this. Like, of course, I always believe that I can win it. Like, if you don't believe it, you you can't do it. But let's say I didn't expect this one. I also want to say good games to everyone I played in the GWC, especially uh, Jamal and Iken. Those two guys could have won this uh, whole tournament, especially those games against Jamal had to pull every single thing of me what I had uh, to win that game, so yeah. Great games. I also want to say thank you to you guys. This certainly couldn't be possible without you. If you weren't supporting me, watching my videos, streams, I couldn't do this for a living. And I certainly couldn't compete at this level if I could not put these hours into the game. So big thank you to every one of you. But hey, there's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. There's the whole GWC series. This is the final episode. Was fun again. I enjoy it. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. Have a great day and see you next time. He is fighting. Ronan again down deep. Sent it towards the oh, door. Oh, 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 oh,